So vasculitis is, as we've said, uh, really autoimmune attack of blood vessels, right? And so from that, the answer to the question kind of falls naturally into line in a way that makes sense. We want to see the actual blood vessels that are injured and we want to know where they are. So the first thing that happens when a patient comes to us, we'll ask them, how long has this been going on for? And what, what are you feeling, you know, any symptoms? And we'll examine you and look for specific signs. And for, for us as vasculitis experts, what we're looking from, for is an idea of where to actually take a biopsy or where to take um, CT imaging or some sort of radiography that gives us the best chance gives us the best chance of seeing the injured vessel or group of vessels in the body. So for example, if you, if a patient comes to us with a hand that's numb and you have purple fingers, then that implies to us that the reason you have the symptoms is because the blood supply to your hand has been affected. And therefore we would focus our studies both by imaging and even of we, if we could, by biopsying tissues in that area to get an idea of what is the actual um, immune process that's at play. And it's from that information and that information really that we form the core of what is the diagnosis. And it is important to get the right diagnosis because the treatments for different types of vasculitis are not all the same. Absolutely. Um, so you sometimes, most of the time, what we actually see in the vasculitis center, you see what we call a primary vasculitis, where that vasculitis is the way in which your immune system attacks you and that's it. But we do see sometimes, for example, in patients with Crohn's disease, they can have a vasculitis on top of that that attacks the skin. Um, and we can do biopsies to actually show that process. Um, there are other types of vasculitis, which in rare cases can be caused by autoimmune attack of the vessels because of an underlying cancer, which reprograms the immune system. But these cases are very, very, very rare. The vast majority of the time, vasculitis is a disease unto itself, fortunately. And we, 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 we treat them and we, we have developed really pretty good treatments uh, for the most part for many of these diseases.